my Korean husband. This is Ask Korean Guys. I'm here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, this question is about learning English in school, in Korea, and what do you think about it? I think I learned English when I was middle school student and high school student and uni student as well. But I didn't remember. I, I just remember, of course, say hi and goodbye and just some sentence and word, but I couldn't use it. And I just learned English after I left Korea. So for me, it wasn't re really help. And I wasn't a good student as well, and the teachers didn't really care about me much. So, and I, I thought. Why do I need to speak English in Korea? I, I, I just can't live without speaking English. I was also thinking about the same thing. It's all about the test. Yeah, it's just, just for a test. Well, actually, when I came to Australia, of course, I couldn't remember all the things that I studied in Korea. But the thing is, I learned English when I was really, really younger. Um, I learned... I, st I, I, I didn't study, actually. I just... I just um, I just spoke English with um, native speaker even, even though I couldn't speak English just it wasn't study it was a class for learning English but it wasn't studying like memorize all the alphabets and things like that it was just about like talking and and then just to try to be comfortable with English and I think that helped me a lot rather than studying everything. Of course, if you want to learn other language, you have to study a yeah. little bit for about grammars and things like that. But without that, just have a free talking with the young native speaker can be also very effective for learning other language. Even though I um, could speak a bit of English when I was younger, and I had a really, really huge confidence so I talked to foreigners on the subway and wow. they had a, had a no problem. But when I went to school, like I started like started studying, and my mom was just too into it, and uh, my mom wanted to have like a um, TOEFL exam and things like that, and I had to memorize 500 vocabularies every day, different vocabularies. If I couldn't, I have to get punished and stuff like that. So I really, really wanted to like stop studying English. And I stopped it um, about like when I was 13. And um, uh, obviously, since then, I haven't studied or I spoke, I haven't spoken English at all. Yeah. So I completely forgot everything before I come to Australia. But I had a confidence because um, I could speak English when I was younger. So it was easy, easier to me to approach to learn learning English again when I come to Australia. So that was the kind of uh, thing that helped me rather than just studying the school. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Hi, how are you? I, I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Really? Really? So, what's your, your name? What my, is your name? My name is Hugh. What's your name? Oh, my name is Han. So, how old are you? I am... <laughs> I don't want to tell you my age. <laughs> I'm 13. <laughs> I'm 13 years old. Really? Really? I'm 13, I'm 14. Really? Yes. 14. 14? Yes. Wow! Wow! Show the camera! Yeah. Wow, we have a visitor! Wow! Yeah. Hello! 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 Hi! Hello! 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 Hello!
and like our video and share our video and see you guys next time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she dressed herself. Wow. Yeah, people, 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 people,